Hey everybody, hope you guys are all healthy and safe. So I have here on me the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. So this is the most souped up top of the line version of Huawei's flagship. Now this is exciting because if you've watched my reviews of the Huawei P40 Pro or any other review actually, look at these cute dogs right here. You will have um, seen that the Huawei P40 Pro is already arguably the best hardware in smartphones right now. Like you can argue maybe it's not number one, maybe it's number two or number three. But the point is, it's definitely near the very top, and that's the P40 Pro, the standard one. This is the bigger brother, the Plus with a better camera. Okay, first let's talk about what's different about the P40 Pro Plus compared to the standard P40. So the first thing you notice is that the P40 Pro Plus's camera module is larger and wider than the P40 Pro's camera module. That's because the P40 Pro Plus houses an additional telephoto zoom lens. It's a 3x portrait lens that shoots an equivalent of 80 millimeter. On top of that, the periscope zoom lens is also physically larger than the periscope zoom lens on the P40 Pro. That's because this is a more complicated periscope zoom lens with optical image stabilization inside and also more layers of magnifying glasses because that technology is basically the lens is L-shaped and it's sideways in the phone and it allows image information to enter travel through a series of magnifying glasses before it hits the image signal processor which is the brain so the p40 pro plus has a larger sensor with more magnifying glasses in between to allow for a better zoom so long story short the periscope zoom lens on the p40 pro plus is capable of shooting 10x optical zoom that's lossless 10x no other phone can do this for now the galaxy s20 ultra the oppo find x2 pro and the huawei p40 pro all, the, all their periscope zoom lenses top out at 5x. And trust me, I've already tried it out yesterday, and yeah, the P40 Pro Plus's zoom camera is just significantly better in terms of producing sharper images when you go beyond 10x, go beyond 20x. Anyway, let me set the camera down and shoot the rest of my video next to my friend right here. So other differences between the P40 Pro Plus and the standard P40 is that this phone's back and body is crafted out of ceramic. So that means it's a little bit more dense feeling and a little bit more full and premium than the P40 Pro. It's a little bit more hefty and slightly heavier. Now it's not heavy in a bad way. It's heavy in that like very premium piece of jewelry kind of way. Like it's very dense. Like you don't feel like you can bend this device. When you bend it, there's no creaking. See, I'm putting it next to my mic. There doesn't seem to be any creaking whatsoever. So the ceramic finish definitely is an upgrade over the glass back and it does not attract fingerprints. There's also a slight superior um, chamfered edge right here around the camera module. The camera bump here basically blends into the body slightly, a little bit more seamlessly than this one because there's a, Huawei calls it diamond cutting chamfered edge to blend the module into the ceramic body. Whereas this, the camera module is kind of like just placed onto the glass back. It's really hard for me to show on camera because I don't have a fancy macro lens. It's very, very subtle. You really cannot see it holding the phone like this or even like this. You can only really see it if you really get up close and look. But it is very subtle, but it is just another level of craftsmanship that Huawei does that no other phone actually does. One of the things I mentioned in my Pre40 Pro review is that I actually think this is my favorite in-hand feel of a phone because even though the screen curves, it curves in a way that the sides are flat so that it does not dig into my palm. On the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro or a OnePlus 8 Pro, the screen curves, but then it ends in this really narrow, sharp point that digs into my palm if I grip the phone tightly. I do not feel that with the P40 Pro or the P40 Pro Plus. And the fact that the screen also curves at the top and bottom means the entire phone has no rough edges. When I'm swiping up to go home, I'm running my finger through a rounded edge and it just feels very nice. In terms of in-hand feel, this phone is just undefeated. Um, other specs are identical to the Huawei P40 Pro. So you have a Kirin 990 chip in here that runs 5G. You have a 6.57, almost 6.6 .6 inch OLED display that refreshes at 90 Hertz. Curves on all four sides very aesthetically pleasing. All right, now let's look closer at the cameras of the P40 Pro Plus. So up top, it's a 40 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. So this is the same ultra wide camera seen in the Huawei P40 Pro and very similar to the one used in the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So that means the field of vision is not as wide as 
say on an iPhone 11 Pro or Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, but in return, you get a lot more details in your shot because it's a 40 megapixel sensor and it does not have to spread across such a wide field of vision. This is um, what I call the Cine Lens, and it's actually built for video recording. When you go into video recording mode, the recording defaults to shooting at the wide angle camera, unlike other phones, which defaults to shooting the 1X camera. So one thing I've noticed is that this is really good as a vlogging camera because this is a wide angle camera and the quality is really high. So I can just point at myself like this and I am shooting a vlog style camera with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus or the Huawei P40 Pro and stabilization looks pretty good all around. So right here, it's that 50 megapixel main camera, RYYB sensor, arguably the best main camera on the market. It can basically see in the dark. Right here is that periscope zoom lens that I just explained to you earlier. This is a more complicated and larger periscope zoom lens than the one seen in the P40 Pro. If you move the camera around and you look inside, you actually see it kind of move a little bit because this is optically image stabilized. So even when you zoom all the way up to 100X, you can get really stabilized zoom phone. So let's do a quick test. So we'll go up to 100X. So you see there's a little window preview up top that I like. And now I'm at 100X and look at how stable this is relatively. Like this is completely handheld and it's not shaking everywhere. I can even read these words right here. So up here is that new telephoto zoom lens that gives you 3x optical zoom. It's an 80 millimeter lens, it's an 8 megapixel sensor, and it's perfect for portraits. As you can see here, you just have to tap 3x and it immediately zooms in, and it's almost like you're taking pictures in portrait mode with a little bit of a depth of field in the background that's quite natural. And finally right here we have a TOF sensor, time of flight. So this is basically a 3D sensor. It allows the camera to tell the, the difference between a subject and a background. On this camera, it's on point in all the portrait shots. And unlike the iPhone, you can use it on inanimate objects too. So the combination of the improved periscope lens and the 3X lens basically covers the entire focal length that you would need to cover. For example, you know the periscope zoom lens is only meant for shooting 5X or above, right? On a Galaxy S20 Ultra or Oppo Find X2 Pro, the periscope zoom lens does not kick in until you go to 5x. When you're shooting 2x or 3x, you're basically using the main camera doing digital crop. But with this phone, if you're using 3x, you're using this dedicated telephoto zoom camera. Then if you go above 5x, then it switches to this periscope zoom lens. All the way up to 10x, it is still completely optical zoom. But as you can see from this sample here, the P40 Pro Plus is 60x. It's significantly better than the 60x of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra or the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the S20 Ultra on me right now to test because my friend borrowed the phone. I'm going to get it back from him and then I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. But I did a quick test yesterday and this zoom lens so far is beating the periscope zoom lens of the S20 Ultra pretty easily. In particular, the 10x images here are really, in fact, optical zoom. So you suffer almost no loss of details. Even the Huawei P40 Pro's 10x zoom, which is already pretty good, slightly falls short of the, what the Plus can do. And when you compare 10x images of the Plus against like the iPhone 11 Pro, it is not even close. It is night and day. Okay, let's get going. Uh, nice sitting you, sir. So um, I just looked it up. The P40 Pro Plus weighs 226 grams. So it's definitely on the heavier side, but it fits into my hand so well, I honestly don't find it like a chore to hold this phone for long stretches of time. Um, everything else about performance should be exactly on par with the P40 Pro because it's the same chipset with the same battery, 4,500 milliamp hours. So battery life is gonna last you all day, even at 90 hertz panel. So I've only been using this phone for about a day and the software here is not final. It's not the final retail software. So this is by no means a full review. This is just a first look and I want to particularly focus on the cameras. So I'm just gonna show you more photo samples right now while I walk around the Sayyengpun district of Hong Kong.
we might as well test the video performance too. So again, when you shoot video, it defaults to shooting the wide angle camera. So you get a more cinematic vibe in your videos. And stabilization is really good. Maybe not quite iPhone 11 Pro level, but definitely good. And you can zoom up to 30X, I believe, when you're on video. Yep, 30X. Let me stand still to see how this looks. Oh, taxi's coming. But yeah, up to 30X in video. So I guess the big question you may be wondering is, is the P40 Pro Plus worth getting if you already own the P40 Pro? That's a tough one because this phone is quite a bit more expensive than the P40 Pro. This is going to sell for 1,399 euros. So that's basically 1,500 US dollars. That's among the most expensive phones out there. Now, although I do think you are getting the best hardware in all smartphones right now and the most capable zooming system, the most powerful zooming system, $1,500 is a lot of money. The P40 Pro, the standard P40 Pro, is still very, very good. Maybe like 5% not as good as this one, but it's like 400 euros cheaper. So I think, honestly, if you ask me about value, I would go for a P40 Pro over the Plus. This is a luxury item for people with like money to spend, basically. Anyway, um, that's about it for this for this first look at the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. So if you're interested in learning more about this phone or just keeping up to date with the latest content, please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. So that's it for now. Stay healthy, stay safe, and thanks for watching.